and welcome aboard the Pitchard Rocks Cruises. Well, today's cruise will encompass 34 miles round trip, and we'll be seeing 13 miles of pristine sandstone cliffs that drop off into the lake, some of them towering over 200 feet high. We'll also see a few sandy beaches, a couple small waterfalls, and on a return trip, we'll stop by an old lighthouse and I'll tell you about its history. Well, we are coming up on our first point of interest. It's called Miner's Castle. Miner's Castle stands around 75 feet high, and you may notice up on top of the castle and up on top of the cliffs a few observation decks. Well, those are put there by the Park Service. Also up on top, there's a nice little information center, along with picnic tables and barbecue pits. Miner's Castle is the only rock formation along the Pitchard Rocks that you can drive out to. Take H58 east out of town, follow the road signs. Should take you about 20 minutes to drive out here. So and these are the caves of all colors. It's a great example of how the wind and waves carve out all kinds of different formations and sea caves. If you look up on top of the cliff, you may notice those small bushes. Well, those are actually stunted trees, stunted by the weight of the ice in the wintertime. And if you follow the shoreline down, you'll notice an archway. Well, that's our Lover's Leap. I wouldn't recommend jumping off Lover's Leap, though. No matter how much you think you're in love, the water beneath is only four feet deep. Well, this next rock formation here is called Indian Head Rock. Local Native Americans that once came canoeing through here were quite frightened of it. Gitchy Manitou, they called them, or the Great Spirit. Now I see the old Indian Head. Picture its chin at water level, then halfway up that large outcropping. Picture that as its nose. And his forehead arches back into the trees, and the trees and bushes act as its headdress. Well, Indian Head stands around 180 feet high. next large rock formation coming up. It's called Grand Portal. According to government charts, Grand Portal is the largest rock formation along the Pritchard Rocks, towering at around 210 feet high. There used to be a series of caves and caverns that stuck out to where the boat is now, covering around six acres, but that all came crashing down around 120 years ago.
do hope you enjoyed your cruise with us today. And on behalf of Josiah, Kane, and myself, Jacob, we thank you once again for joining us, and we hope you all have a safe and enjoyable rest of your vacation. Thank you once again.